Welcome. I am Oliver Schwartz, world-renowned rock journalist for Music Mainline, your source for all things rock. rock. Today, we have the very special pleasure of having in the house Mr. Neil Howe. Hello, Neil. So, tell me, you're a big rock star now, aren't you? You released three albums last year, and you've got another one on the way. No, no, no. I wouldn't say that at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is just me playing on my computer and making songs that I like wanted to do forever. So, yeah, I don't think I'm a rock star. And I don't know what to say to that. Oh, but surely you've made lots of money. You're a jet-setting playboy and all that, right? Money and fame? Right, right, yeah. Yeah, I've made hundreds of pennies. Uh, it's great. Uh, no, it's not really what I'm looking for. If, it, if that would happen, that'd be great, but I don't think, uh, that's not really uh, on my radar. I, you know, it's sure it's in the back of my mind. I'd love it, but, uh, you know, it's uh, something that uh, I can't think about. I have to, the music comes first, and, you know, that means a lot to me. I want to make music that um, sounds good. I want it to be high quality, uh, you know, so I do the best I can. And I hope that other people will enjoy it as well. Well, I guess, tell me about yourself. Yeah, so about me, uh, well, I'm from Missouri. I am a father. I have... Uh, three children of various ages. Um, I work a day job. And like I said before, this is just a hobby of mine. So, you know, pretty average guy, you know, grew up as a kid, uh, learning guitar and uh, playing music and none of that really ever worked out. And I'm just, I don't know, this isn't like a one, sh one last shot for me. I just, it's something that there's a creative force inside me. If I don't make things, it builds up. And over time, I, I just have to get it out. And a lot of this has been building up for a long time. Uh, I have, besides music, also written some really crappy novels. Um, you know, and that was a part of me that, you know, just being creative, I have to constantly make something I feel like, I don't know, it, it's, it's, I can't really put it into words, I, but I, I do feel the need to get that out. Um, what else can I say about myself? Oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess, tell us about your albums you put out last year. My albums, yeah. So, this set up here, which is pretty basic, you know, there are other home recording studios, but this works for me. Um, I got it and I just felt unleashed. I just wanted to get all this stuff out and, you know, those, the early first two, especially the first two albums, I really didn't know what I was doing production wise. I have been recording for a long time, but this was a lot of this was new to me. So, um, I'm not really happy with the production of those. I was happy at the time, but look, looking back on it, they could have been so much better, but I feel like I'm starting to learn more how to make things sound better. Uh, also, I'm, you know, I'm not, never considered myself a singer, but I want vocals on most of my songs, if not all of them. And I'm here to do it myself. So I've gotten better at, at singing, I believe. Um, just learning what my voice can and can't do. So, but yeah, uh, those albums are still out there. They're all online. Anybody can find them probably anywhere on Apple and Amazon and Spotify. And I think they're on TikTok. So, in fact, I know they're on TikTok. So, yeah, it's all, all there. So, if you want to go check that out, that'd be great. And now you have a new album. The new album. Yes. It is called Prairie. And... With all of the albums I've done, except for maybe the first one, especially the last two, and this one, I've been going for some kind of aesthetic. Uh, 
I hope I said that correctly. But um, this one, uh, you know, I grew I'm I grew up in a very rural area of the world, and I live there now, and it's kind of a reflection of what I see and how I feel about certain things and parts of society and the the landscape that's a big thing for me if you notice i really like big wide pictures so on space the album space it's a big picture of space this one's honestly a picture of a field very close to my house and it's a field like many others in this area and something about this these big wide open landscapes um you know if i could put a sound to it what's in me and uh, what I think this would be, I guess, I don't know. It, it's uh, the wind, what I see coming in and then back out through me is what ends up on this record. So, you know, it's a pretty ambitious record. Uh, it's very progressive. There's a lot of heavy metal things, but there's also a lot of what I call folky rock type stuff as well which is kind of lends itself to what this album's all about excuse me and uh so anyway yeah i i'm really proud of this record i'm still working on it but it's coming soon so is there any pop music on there yeah it's not a pop record no maybe some country and it's not a country record no 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 uh, if you've listened to my other music, it's in that vein, you know, slightly different. Obviously, it's a different record, but uh, yeah, I, it's not. It's not that. Well, I have to tell you, uh, I heard part of Prairie. I really like that part where it goes doop, doop, doop. And also that deedly, deedly, deedly's part. Oh, yeah, that was really good. That's some hot stuff, man. Oh, yeah, the doodly doo part. Right, right. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Yeah, you, you haven't really listened to the record much have you well there you have it folks mr neil howe you can find all of his stuff online like he said and you can find us on music, 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 music. music.